once you load in here, go over to your store. Oh. Okay. What a dick. Oh wow, you have a real house. Oh, I, I'm I I am happy with this. It's not just a bunch of pedestals. That okay. I gotta look around real quick, and then I'll teach you how to do the store. Oh yeah, that's that's so much better. Yo, dude, I'm here. Yo, what's up, man? Uh, not much. Yeah, I figured I'd get a duplicate. Of, I'll trade the trust to trader, right? Yeah. All right, so you want to do old man for this? Yeah. All right, cool. All right, I got it with me. Let me go ahead and drop it. All right. Dude, you're going to laugh. I found this in a noob's camp for, like, 200 caps. What a dum dumb. I know, right? I bought this so quick, and I'm like, all right, I'm just going to use this as a trading voucher so I could complete my set. The whole damn time I've been playing this event, I haven't got one until last night I got the buffoon. Noise. Yeah, my, my first buddy, one. Somehow, he's got six masks. I'm oh, like, what Jesus. The hell? Yeah, I got a buddy that has stellar RNG, man, and I'm surprised he hasn't got one yet. But uh, I got that crazy guy last night. Thank you, thank you. Oh, yeah. yeah, you get yeah, a man. like that, come holler at me, because I, I want it. Oh, no I'll worries, work. man. Yeah, I I know you're the dude to talk to when it comes down to this, man. But anyways, have a good one, man. Nice doing business Thanks, again. Man. Later. Yeah, no problem. But let, let's, um, we'll travel to that later. Let me see if I could grab your stuff right now. Oh, come over here. Go into the circus thing. Go ahead and hop in that uh, bed. <laughs> and it sits there and chews you, right? And then like... This is literally a bed. And then watch. Get out of the bed. This is the best animation. Right? Pretty much uncommon on these and then uh, these two are my extra rare that I'm gonna use as collateral to try to get um, try to get you a cow so those are my extras right there oh okay hold up do, do, do. the giant okay so you're missing long nose and the giant hold up I have a lot of these fucking things, so I got three giants. Let's go ahead and pull one of those. Oh, sick. Yeah. For sure. All right, turn around. Right, just come up with some bullshit. I'll get you an extra long nose. Um, I still got to check and see if there's one in my store, but I did have an extra giant. All right, check this out. This is my store. This is um, 
This is what that butcher shop can be. This is why I wasn't worried about all of like the little add-ons and stuff. Like I had an idea. Like I wanted to put stuff in the windows and all that and then like go in and have it make basically look like a really jam-packed store. That reminds me. Oh, um, I can build that for you. That's a plan from Nuka World. Okay, so um, the spin the wheel thing, the little train thing, those were all from the Nuka Cola event. And if you see an extra blueprint for one in my store, just let me know and I'll pull it. I'll look through my gear and see if I have extras too. Only if you have an extra. Like, I have an extra sheriff hat that I was going to give you. That's why I asked. Oh! <clears throat> All right, one second here. Where'd it go? There you go. If it says known, just uh, let me know and I'll grab it back. Oh wait, get it. Because you want deputy and sheriff hat. That's, um, that's from that most wanted shit. But people are paying bank for that because apparently that's a rare drop. I don't give two fucks about cowboy hats. Like, I just want to be able to build anything and everything in the game, right? And then I got my little farm over here. And then I got, um, like, a little kid's corner. Like, you know that little um, cat ride? I put the cat ride, I put the little um, horse thing in here. So you know how, like, you go to a Kmart or a Walmart back in the 90s, they had, like, these little toys in front of every single grocery store and all that shit? That's kind of the idea with this, is, like... The whole, like, grocery store bullshit that they would have, like, these cheap things at. Oh, and then I got the tire swing. I mean, it's, it's alright. Like, it's just kind of a fun little whatever. Alright, let me see if... Oh, God. No, I want out of it. Let, let me out of it. I forgot to how to get out. <laughs> oh god damn it. <laughs> I literally hit all my buttons. I'm gonna fast tra I can't fast travel, god damn it. <laughs> oh, son of a bitch. I'm stuck in this thing forever, dude. <laughs> oh crap. I can't get out of my tire swing. <laughs> Come on, glitchy ass game. <laughs> oh. That means you have a custom paint job on it and it won't let you do it. Suck sheep and squatch, you sons of bitches. There's a bunch of zombies in here. I went to the, just went through the door and I've been welcomed by like six of them. Oh, you left? Oh, okay, yeah, like, I'm sitting by a pile of bodies. All right, let me let me leave and I'll join you outside. Okay, I'm here. Let me give you some power armor. Did it let me actually drop it that time? Okay, here you go. Hop in. The only thing you can't make a starred item is that helmet. Why is it that... 
Did I not give you the other arm? Uh, okay. Um, here's the other arm that should have been on there. Right here. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. From the shop. All right, once you're done, come over here and pick up all these serums. And in solidarity, I'm going to mutate myself again. So I'm going to be 10 deep now. All right, do I have an extra carnivore? I'm actually going to go in there and grab another one, too. Hold up. Because I think I got you carnivore as well. I should have. Oh yeah, there it is. And chameleon. Okay. Here we are. I'm just going to drop stuff right here. Okay. Chameleon, carnivore, grounded, healing, marsupial, scale, speed, twisted muscle. Okay. Turn into a freak. And make sure you have starch jeans on so none of these get healed. So basically what you do is you drink them all like an item. Okay, class freak's going to drop all the negative because some of these negatives are harsh. Like marsupial making you like negative four intelligent just so you could carry 20 extra pounds and jump super high. You put that um, class freak on there, then it's only a negative one, right? Then that starch genes, when you do like Rataway and stuff, if you don't have starch genes, it can heal these things. So you never want to get rid of those two, right? And then the third thing is if you can get your charisma to stranger in numbers, it will give both of us a 25% increase to our good mutations when we team up. I don't know why it unequips this crap for me. It's always annoying. All right. Messed up, right? Like, I'm about to put Plague Walker on myself. And the, what Plague Walker does is when I'm diseased, it spreads the love as you would say, right? So I'm going to go around and basically like the more diseases I have, I get like a poison aura. I have become a plague walker. All right, what's the negative? Okay, the negative is I literally just have to get sick. Gotcha. That's, that's fair. Oh, hey, you're able to hit the thing and go all the way up now. I remember when you would do this and you would get like 10 points. There we go. Kind of takes a while to recognize, doesn't it? That top bar that's going on right now, uh, once it attracts the thing, it's going to make the screen change colors kind of like it is now. And it'll finally show up, and then he's going to be by this back door, and we'll just kill him, and that's the whole event. It's like this is just one of those places that the raiders are hanging out, and then when they party at night, this Night Stalker's coming and killing them. It's a fun little one. Just play some rando-ass music. Oh, and by the way, all the the instrument weapons on the floor are trash. They're usually low level, so don't even bother. Oh, you hear that beeping in the background? Yeah. We're going to be hunting those beeps soon. 
uh, those are ghouls with special backpacks. They were basically military generals, and they have nuke codes. I had to take a screenshot, and then all the zombies showed up. All right, he should be showing up here pretty soon. Come out to this door with me. I just realized I equipped that Plague Walker thing on here, and then I walked into a place that's going to fill me up with disease. <laughs> that's funny. Here he is. He's back here. It's a Wendigo this time. Oh, Wendigos are awful. I collect their teeth. Oh, nice, he gave me another rifle. I did a little bit of shopping the other day because I was close to 40k. And um, when I was at other players' camps, oh, hey, fuck off, Blood Eagle. Uh, when I was at other people's camps, I decided to grab whatever sounded good for your build with my extra cash. Okay, I'm going to kill these Blood Eagles real quick. I, are you doing something for a psychotic robot named Rose? I, I don't know if this one's new. This one's disarming, dis, disarming discovery. Like, I've got the Rose one. Like, I've got the singer, or, like, I've already modded the singer the way I'm supposed to. Okay. So, because she I, sends you... Shoot those. I gotta shoot those Yao things. Oh, I get what that is. That's not a required mission. Um, you have to shoot a couple of them with that, and then basically what it does is it translates the monster so you can hear it talk. Oh, that's just ceramic. No, but that is a dick load of ceramic. That's all I was about to say. If they were plastic plates, I'd be taking them. Like, I find myself needing plastic a lot more. I do too, like, I realize, like, Mm -hmm. By the way, the best place to get plastic, there's a school, and you just loot the cafeteria. Oh, the dark. Try it. Yeah, you might as well try my dartboard. It's not like those other things that give you uh, perk skills, like the bed or the... Um, Oh, he's just, Burger King's going to walk right in front of you. What a dumbass. Yeah, it won't give you perks and stuff. I did see Double Mutation Weekend. Okay, you step right here. And then you walk in. Look where the wire is in the ground. Step there. Walk forward. And then the other one is right here. So I made automatic doors. So yeah, this is the new property. I just literally moved it a couple feet down the street. I haven't really figured out where I want to move. And then, of course, as the theme's going, I'm putting an active garage in just because I have this car. And then my... I love, I love the outfit you did with this helmet. Like, Dude, right? So I figured... I figured it's like my raider gear. If I ever want to join the raiders and be just an absolute maniac, I'm wearing this. And then, yeah, I got like this tiny little room going on where you could look outside at my cow. And then the upstairs is just all plants. But I hid that little plant that eats you up here. So if anybody's walking around my house, right, 
and I want to hide, I'll just run up here and then have this plant eat me. And then I could go into photo mode and like literally just watch whoever's running around my house. Oh, so come over here to the computer part. All right, you're going to get this from these missions that we're doing. So don't buy this thing. Like, it, it's a free unlock. But what you do is, since we have that ammo box, we could stack this up for days. You basically sell crap ammo that you don't use. Like, sell all those mini nukes, right? Like, in stacks of 3 or 30 or 300 or whatever. And it gives you points. And it tells you the point value right next to it, right? So when you're selling a bunch of your crap ammo, you'll turn around and have these points stack up and you could go find the ammo in that list and buy it for the points you have saved up. Just an alternate currency brought to you by having extra ammo. So get your grenades ready, get machine gun ready, whatever you have to burn through this thing. Oh, I have no grenades. I mean, like, I've been collecting so much. I haven't even been in my camp to build anything. I got you. Well, I'll load up the machine, the mutant machine gun and the chainsaw. That should do it. All right, just... No, you're good. Like, I can... I'm still a noob. I'm still a noob. No, it's cool if you're a noob, man. I can kill these things real quick. All right, I'm going to off this one real quick. Hopefully none of them in here are legendary. Oh, oh, great. There was a second one right there. Okay. Two down. <laughs> that leveled you up? Good. Okay, I'm not sure if the body is on the right side or the left side. And keep in mind, there might be another one of those lurking around, but I've never seen more than three in this cave. We are looking for a dead soldier. Oh, do you see all these broken down? Oh, I found him. Come over here. Dude, because it's this tiny little cave thing. This is the Enclave soldier you got to loot the thing from. So it should have like a note or something, and then you read it. Yeah, it said Bunker Buster. Farther. Okay, so you've started Bunker Buster? Bunker Buster is the nuke mission. This is the path we need to be on. That so I, and then, uh, and then I have like an extra 60%. Oh, here he comes. I'm going to go get this while you do that. Just play the bypass next to it. All right, that guy's dead. Throw some of this dumb crap out. Bypass hollow tape. And if it's not this elevator, I know where there's another one. But I think it's this one because I think the other one goes outside. I got so many questions. I got a lot of questions. What is happening? I'm going to walk you through it. I, I knew there was something I was missing. And I just, I had to Google it. Okay, so, what we were doing in here is I'm going to have you go to that breaker, right? But then there's this, um, this pipe over here that we were missing. So then we hit this pipe right here. And then I hit the thing on top. So I'll have you hit the breaker, then hit that pipe, and then I will hit the thing up top, and then just run it towards the um, run it towards the lasers. You might have to hit the hand thing, 
but uh, that's that sounds like a solid plan to keep you on ground level. All right, just let me know when you're ready to crack that breaker and then hit that pipe. Yep. Okay, next is pipe. Oh, and then my circuit thing is flashing, so I hit that. Oh, I just heard the whole thing reset. Run through if you can. Yeah. Okay, now this is the bunker part. And there's Sam's computer right here. And there's a hollow tape. There is a little keypad here. And then once you do the keypad, it'll open a secret door. Okay, and one of the paintings should click. Okay, that is the access card we need to go through that bunker I tried to get in, get you into forever ago. So, dude, I gotta tell you, wearing a cow head puts you in some sort of frickin' cult. Out of nowhere, motherfuckers see my cow head and, like, pop their shit on and lose it. It's absolutely hilarious. Like, 90% of the time, right, some dude with a cow head will, like, run up, find me, and start doing like a dance emote or like a thumbs up emote and then like I reciprocate, right? I've had so many people just group up and want to take photos. So I have seen a space cowboy. I have seen a cowboy, like a cow superhero. I've seen like the cow in the long jacket. I've seen the cow in that little like skull raider gear all kinds of variations on this cow and then like on top of it the people that have that fabric mascot mask too all right so when we get here there's going to be a dude that starts talking to you and what you do is you go up to this vault door and use your pit boy on this little yellow thing oh yeah that's right he has to decontaminate you And see, it's rooms like that which made me want you to have starched genes. Because if you didn't, you would have lost all your mutations. Like, there's people in the Brotherhood of Steel and some other people that will just straight up um, comment that you're mutated. Oh yeah, you got your ID photo taken. I I think I did sideways. It doesn't really matter. It's just part of the grind. Are there lasers for you? Oh yeah, you need your ID card. See, this is what I was talking about. Like, there's a bunch of back and forth. I don't want to talk over his explanation. Right. Like, dude, this is this is scary because like this shit is gonna happen. Yeah, and it's like Elon Musk is pretty much trying to put people's brains in computers already, and this shit's just the government doing it. Of course, they would do it first. Like, if there was any crazy crap like that, you think our dumbasses would have access to it first? Fuck no. Like presidents and shit get that first. So of course, if there was some war and all the 
Exactly right. And all the powers have this shit. They just like upload their domes, and now there's some superpower computer. Look at this motherfucker. He's lived for hundreds of years, still in control of the United States. Like, how insane is that? And he's doing it with all these robots and stuff. Yeah, I'm about to. All right, cool. Oh, yeah, that's right. He's just, like, gives you Nuka-Colas and stuff. And there's, like, these vending machines. Every time you're a good boy, you get to go and use the little vending machine to get yourself a prize. It's kind of funny. I don't think I've done a good boy chore for him for a while. Usually when you walk around, it's... Um, you know those things that look like gas stations, but they just have a bunch of robot tubes on them? Yeah. Okay, that's this dude. So he'll activate those and send his robots onto the surface to do whatever. And after this, you're going to start getting event missions that basically have you protect those things. <laughs> 